Office workers across the country are adapting to a new requirement of corporate life, keeping their desks clean. For many years, automobile and airplane manufacturers have used lean practices to make production more efficient. Plant workers wouldn't have to waste time hunting for their tools because an outline on the shop wall would indicate where the power saw was supposed to go. Now, that kind of time-saving organization is making its way to the cubicle. Employees at Kyocera's North American headquarters in San Diego have just begun getting a taste of that with a lean practice known as 5S. The S's stand for five Japanese words that translate to sort, straighten, shine, standardize, and sustain. Not only are employees supposed to sort and straighten up items on their desks, they're also supposed to keep common areas like copier rooms and storage closets organized. To do that, people at Kyocera have created a place for everything, and everything must return to its place after being used. Take the copier room, for example, where tape marks a spot where the stapler goes. Something is there, you know it's in its place, and when something is missing, you know it's missing. It's very obvious. To keep people on track, Kyocera has anointed Dan Brown, a longtime employee, to be the 5S cop who conducts inspections of the administrative offices every three months. And believe it or not, we get to the point of we want four safety pins. <laughs> now, some people laugh at that one, but the whole point is to make it presentable. During an inspection in late September, Mr. Brown found a filing cabinet that was out of compliance. We should have labeled on here what's inside here, but we haven't done that yet. When he gets to Yoshi Bogart's desk, he spots something that's not allowed. A briefcase beneath her desk. I know, I know, sorry. Right. Well, no, it's all right. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Not that hundred percent. Right. Well, that. that's what I'm trying to explain. Some employees have really gotten into 5S. The 5S program, knowing that the company really encourages and supports, kind of gave me the freedom to, to go through and organize myself. Others have had a tougher time. Jay Scovey, the company's communications manager, has tried to get away with stashing unsorted desk items in a storage closet and has been busted many times by Mr. Brown. But in the last few months, he's made great progress in tidying up his workspace. A quantum leap from what it was a few months ago. <laughs> I'm not sure the scale measures how far I've come, but I, I want to say it's been a, it's been a revolution. But he's not fully reformed yet. That's got to be taken care of. And he's not the only one who's been having a hard time adjusting. During the inspection, Mr. Brown opens a filing cabinet and finds an itemized list of the cabinet's contents attached to the inside by paper clips. Not a proper way to affix such a list. Later, he finds another no-no, an unsorted pile of papers on someone's desk. Do you even know what's really in here? The answer is no. Some employees have decided to have a little fun with 5S. One person has taped a piece of paper in the shape of a stapler to his desk. Another employee who has plants at her desk has fastened the stem of one to her cubicle wall, properly using a clip rather than the forbidden staple. Most people at Kyocera have made a good effort to comply with their new workspace requirements, but it doesn't mean they all love it. Do I like it? I think it's a necessary evil. <laughs> For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Julie Jargon.